All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a new bill that was introduced to fix a major problem we've all been dealing with for the last couple years, which is shrinkflation. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now first off, have you heard of shrinkflation? Whether you've heard about it or not, I can tell you this much, you are most likely experiencing it and you may not even know about it. So I wanna share with you the details of this legislation as well as explain the details behind this because the last few years here, this has actually been a very common thing. And like I said, a lot of us don't even know we're experiencing it, but I guarantee you walk around out there at your local store and you'll see it all over the place. This is happening in a pretty big way because of all the massive inflation. And this is a way to actually prevent actually raising prices a little bit more. But again, I'll explain all those details. However, really fast before we get into it, if you have not done so yet, can I ask a huge favor of you? Will you please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video? It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day. And as long as you're right down below the video, make sure to share this video with your friends on social media so they can also see what is actually going on with the share button right down below as well. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I'm here for you no matter what, watching the headlines, doing all the research, advocating on your behalf, and bringing it to your attention in these short videos every single day. All right. Thank you so much for being part of the community. I really appreciate literally every one of you here. And again, let's get into it and talk about good old shrinkflation, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not good, but I'm just simply saying it's kind of a funny name, right? Uh, but anyway, let me explain the details about it. So shrinkflation is exactly this. You go out to your store and you buy something. It could be uh, paper towels. It could be toilet paper. It could be chips. It could be cans of soup. It could be salad dressing, literally anything that's basically at your local store, okay? So let's just say that three years ago, four years ago, something like this, maybe you went out and you bought, again, I'm just going to make up numbers here, okay? So this is all just for example purposes, but let's just say that you buy a box of cereal, say four years ago, and the price was say, I don't know, $3.59, and it was 16.1 ounces of cereal, okay? Again, just making up numbers. I don't know what their real numbers are. I'm just simply giving an example here, okay? So four years ago, again, 16.1 ounces for $3.59. Now today, again, this has been happening pretty, um, pretty commonly over the last couple of years here because of rapidly rising prices and inflation and things like this, but maybe now today, and again, it's happened multiple times here, but uh, you go to the store and you buy that same box of cereal, but now it's actually 15.4 ounces and it's $4.10. So here's a couple things. So here's what's happened. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a couple different things happen. We've seen prices increasing very rapidly on a lot of food products. Well, as of the last couple of years here, as a result of rapidly rising prices and supply chain issues and uh, the cost of pr uh, production and all kinds of things like this going up, rather than continuously raising prices on a bunch of different products, and again, it could be food products, it could be paper products, the list goes on and on. It's basically everything that's out there. Rather than and raising pro uh, prices on those products, what they're doing is they're reducing uh, uh, product sizes, okay? Now, remember that box of cereal that I just said, okay? So we had a couple years ago, it was 16.1 ounces, $3.59. A year or so ago, let's just say, for example, it was again, 15.4 ounces and $4.10. Now, maybe you go to the store and you buy the exact same box of cereal. Maybe now it's 14.9 ounces and it's still $4.10. So maybe when we go out to the store, we think, hey, look at that. Prices have not gone up on my good old box of cereal that I like. Well, actually it has, right? Here's why. Because if we look at it a price per ounce, it's actually a lot more because now in this example that I'm giving you, it's actually 14.9 ounces of cereal, whereas the last price of 410, same price, but yet it was 15.4 ounces. Again, I'm just making up different numbers here to kind of uh, give you an example and to kind of explain the situation about this. But this is exactly what shrink uh, shrinkflation is. And this is a real thing. Uh, so again, what's interesting about this is I've been doing some research on this and looking into this a little bit further. What's really interesting, when you go to the store, and again, I do the exact same thing here. When we go to the store, what's the first thing do you look at? Do you look at the price on the shelf of the product you want to buy? Or do you look at the the pro, uh, the the ounces of the product or like the, the basically the, the amount of volume of that product that you get? I'm not sure about you, but I almost never look at the volume of the product, right? I don't walk around and be like, I know for a fact my favorite cereal is 16.2 ounces per box. I couldn't tell you what it is. I have no clue, right? We don't know. Most people don't know what the uh, what the product size is, as in what do you get for ounces? What do you get for volume? How much do you get in weight? Things like this, right? 
Most people don't know that as far as what it actually is, except for fixed uh, fixed uh, volumes, things like this. For example, a gallon of milk. It's a gallon of milk today. Uh, it's a gallon of milk five years ago, and it's a gallon of milk 20 years ago. It's the same thing, right? A dozen eggs. It's 12 eggs today. It's 12 eggs a year ago, and it's 12 eggs 25 years ago, right? The same old thing like that. But when it comes down to different portion sizes, like, again, maybe a block of cheese, maybe a box of cereal, maybe um, a can of soup. Maybe it's, a, I don't know, a bottle of um, maple syrup, something like that. Maybe it's toilet paper sizes. Maybe it's Kleenex boxes or whatever. I'm just making stuff up here, but you see my point here, right? It's a, you know, it's a pack of paper plates or plastic forks or whatever it happens to be. But when it comes down to these things like this, we're starting to see that, hey, these product sizes are getting a little bit smaller, but the price is remaining the same. So if you calculate it out on an ounce per ounce basis and how much you're actually getting for your money, it's actually less. So that's essentially prices going up because you're getting less for the same amount of money, right? So that's the whole purpose behind this and why I want to bring this to your, uh, to your attention. And yes, it is a real thing and it's been happening uh, quite a bit here over the last couple of years. Now, here's the thing as well. Some people, politicians, I'm not going to say who or what sides or whatever like this, it doesn't really matter. But some people are saying, well, it's corporate greed. Okay, we could look at it however we want. It doesn't really matter. It's everybody's opinion on it. But here's the thing. They also, it also costs a lot more to make products these days than what it did a year ago, two years ago, three years ago because of rapidly rising inflation, right? Well, as a result of prices going up, guess what that's doing? That's causing prices on everything to go up, right? Production costs more, electricity costs more, uh, transportation to take the product to the mill, to take the product from the mill to the store. Again, it's all more. Guess what else costs a lot more? Labor costs a lot more, okay? To peep, to, to to hire the people to you know pr to produce the products to ship the products to transport the products to put the products on the shelves to you know be the checkout counter things like this it costs more labor is way more expensive these days so uh, even though a lot of people continue to come on and say, oh, it's all labor, uh, you know, it's all uh, corporate greed and they just want more money. Well, okay, maybe there's a little bit of that going on, but realistically what it comes down to is everything costs more these days, significantly more to actually pay for all of this. So therefore, who has to pay for that? We do. Unfortunately, the end consumer, we have to pay for that, unfortunately. And um, that's what this is all coming down to. So anyway, long story short here, a bill was recently introduced in the Senate and it is called Shrinkflation Prevention Act, okay? So the whole purpose behind this would basically be to prevent corporations from basically reducing packaging sizes and uh, keeping the same price, okay? So that's basically what it comes down to. So I'm not really sure what the whole solution is behind this. Uh, again, I don't really foresee this happening. Uh, because here's the thing. If that's the case, then fine. They'll need to leave package sizes the size that they are, but then guess what? Prices must go up. Uh, so however you cut it, no matter how you're going to look at it, prices will have to either remain stagnant, as in prices stay the same, and uh, product sizes, as in volumes of sizes, go down, or they stay the same, as in product sizes stay the same, and prices must go up. That's just how it works. I mean, unfortunately, we've been dealing with inflation. Why? Because they printed $6 trillion. That's what happens when they print so much money. So no matter how you look at it, that's unfortunately the case of the situation that's going on right now, okay? I wouldn't necessarily say it's, it's the corporations. I'm sorry, it's the bad policies that have been passed here over the last couple of years that are causing all of the massive inflation. That's the problem. It's... I would say it's not necessarily the corporations. However, don't get me wrong. There's certainly some corporations that are certainly giving everybody a bad name. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, There's always a bad apple in the bunch, right? That's what it comes down to. But I would say this bill, even though it sounds great, I don't think this is the solution, okay? Uh, look at the situation over the last couple of years here. Everything has gone up in price because everything costs more to actually produce. That's the situation, right? Labor costs are more. Production is more. Electricity is more. Gas is more. Labor on vehicles is more. What does that mean? It means that you have to get the products to the mill. You have to manufacture it. You have to get it to the store to buy it, right? You need somebody to um, uh, put it on the shelf. You need somebody to check it out at the counter. All kinds of things like this. And all of that costs money, right? And who has to pay for it? Unfortunately, we do, right? So anyway, <laughs> I hope this helps you out. But again, I want to bring this to your attention really quickly. Uh, a new bill that is out there, again, Shrinkflation Prevention Act. Feel free to look it up if you'd like to. But basically, they want to help fix shrinkage. 
it's about it. Anyway, that's enough out of me for today. <laughs> if you've not done so yet, please make sure to subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video. Again, big share button right down below as well. Otherwise, go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those that I've linked down below in the description or at the top of the comment section, uh, the thousands in the video library, or those that you see on your screen now. Make sure to check out those videos. Thanks again for joining me. Really do appreciate it, and uh, enjoy your day. I'll catch you again later.